Hello everyone, this is JD, and I'm going to be teaching you the GEC basics. Okay, so first off, we're going to go up here, click on that. It's going to give us um, a list of choices. This is the falloutnv.esm. In other words, it is the master file, which pretty much means that everything that is in Fallout New Vegas... Um, meaning the original disc or download or whatever, uh, such as characters, objects, um, like tables, scripts, and everything that's in the original game itself. So anything beneath of it is either a, an official downloadable content, such as Dead Money or Honest Hearts, or add-ons that you can download online, such as Run the Lucky 38, or my own personal mod down there at the bottom. And so if I wanted to work on my own mod, I would click on it so that little X pops up. And then I would make it the active file because I would actively be working on it. And suppose I, w I had somebody else's weapons that they made on my mod. I would just click on theirs and then it would say plug in and mine would be the only active file. But since we're not loading my mod or this other kid's mod, we will be uh, just making a brand new one, meaning that no other file is active. There is no active file. So when we save it, it'll ask us to create our own plugin file. So I'm just going to hit OK. OK, so once everything is loaded, um, you will see the uh, three windows. Object window, render window, and cell view. They all pretty much have stuff on it, except for the render window. Um, so now under the cell view, you're going to see uh, all of the locations that you would normally see in Fallout organized in a different way. Uh, each each place is actually, um, even interiors, are a place on a grid known as a cell. So if we go uh, over to the world space, which is the wasteland of New Vegas... And then we click down here, start typing in Good Spring. And then Good Springs pops up. And then here's all the objects located in this cell, which is located at negative 18, 0. So if I double click on Good Springs, it will take us in the render window over to this grid coordinate. Now, this specific coordinate was named Good Springs as a reference so we could get to this town easier. So if I start traveling this way, now you see it says Wilderness. They just named this part Good Springs because they want us to get to the town. Because the town is actually made up of multiple grid coordinates that uh, load almost seamlessly depending on your system. So you wouldn't normally notice it. But if you do have a laggy system, then you will notice when you're going into different grids, uh, cells. So now you see Good Springs. There's the saloon. Here's the shop. And then there's some people and everything else. So the first thing you're going to need to know how to do is to actually move around. Okay? So in order to move around, you have to hold down the shift uh, key and move your mouse around. It's got an inverted um, control to it. And you can also hold down the space bar to actually physically move the camera around. In order to zoom on your mouse, if you scroll in or scroll out. So, uh, yeah, shifts look around, spaces move, and scroll is zoom in and out. 